Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College located at Belagavi in Karnataka. So this particular medical college is affiliated to the deemed university KLE Academy of Higher Education and Research, shortly known as KHER. Now this is the medical college we are going to discuss today. We are going to look at the fee structure for general category. We are going to look at the fee structure for NRA category. We are going to look at how many seats are available in the different categories. We are going to look at the hostel fees. We are also going to look at the cutoff marks to get a seat in this college as per 2021. So these are the details you will be seeing in this video. Please come. Now, first of all, the seat matrix, um, there are 200 MBBS seats available in this college. Out of these 200 seats, 12 seats are reserved for Karnataka state students. So as you can see, there is a Karnataka state quota under which 12 seats are available. Then we have All India General Category under which 158 seats are available. And then we also have All India NRA Category for which 30 seats are available. Now this Karnataka state quota of 12 seats as I said is only Karnataka residents are eligible and for these 12 seats they have to register with KEA. Now what is KEA? Karnataka Examinations Authority. So these 12 seats will be offered through Karnataka Examinations Authority under government quota. Now the remaining 188 seats Anyone who is interested, they have to register with MCC or Medical Counseling Committee. So if you are an All India candidate, right, you may be OBC, uh, SC, ST or general category, you all will be coming under the 158 seats. Please remember, generally, right, deemed universities does not offer reservation under the All India category. Now moving on, what is the fee structure for general category? That is All India general category. This is the fee structure. First year you will be paying 18.3 lakhs, second year, third year and fourth year you will be paying 18.25 lakhs every year and then the fifth year or final year you will be paying 9,15,000. So if you add all of them it comes to 82.2 lakhs for the entire college okay without including hostel and mess 82.2 lakhs you need to pay. Then fees for Karnataka state quota as I said it is a government quota seat only for Karnataka students. The fee as per 2021-22 admission. Remember, we don't have the details for 22-23. So I am just sharing 21-22 fee structure for reference. Uh, the fees may go up this year, but roughly, right, a government quota seats, the fees may not increase too much. Uh, as of last year, it was about 1,44,246. Now, hostel and mess fees, both for all India general category students and Karnataka students, this is the hostel and mess fees. And there are two different uh, fee structures for ladies and uh, boys. There is a, a different kind of fee structure, right? The girls um, admission fees is 200, caution deposit 13,000, yearly rent 74,000 rupees. Totally at the time of admission, they have to pay 87,200 rupees. And then subsequent years, they will be paying 74,000 rupees. Then boys, uh, 200 rupees, uh, admission fees, caution deposit 16,000, yearly rent 80,000. And then the first year at the time of admission, they have to pay 96,200. And from second year onwards, it will be 80,000 rupees. For both boys and girls, the room type is uh, double room. That is two people will be sharing the room and it is non-attached. Okay, so there is no uh, bathroom attached, bathroom will be common, uh, so it's a double room, non-attached. Please remember again, the fee structure is as per 2021-22 admission. I don't have the 22-23 admission fees, but anyway, I don't think this will change too much, right? Even if it increases, it's not going to be too high. Now, please take note that the room rent, right? The yearly rent includes uh, mess charges also, food charges also included breakfast, lunch, evening snacks and dinner included. So either you'll be paying 74,000 or 80,000. So looking at um, a fee structure of about 18.25 lakhs plus let's say 75,000 to the hostel or 80,000 to the hostel, approximately on an average every year you need to plan for about 19 to 19.5 lakhs expenses because I believe this may not include the exam fees 
and maybe there may be some personal expenses for you so approximately you should be estimating 19 to 19.5 lakhs every year as an expense maybe right the fifth year will be lesser now moving ahead, let's also look at the fee structure for NRI category. NRI category, the fee structure for this year, the first year you'll be paying 45,500 US dollars. And then second year, third year and fourth year, you'll be paying 44,000 US dollars every year. And then the fifth year, you'll be paying 22,000 US dollars. So if you add the total, it comes approximately, right? close to 2 lakh US dollars and if you convert this to today's currency rate approximately it works out to around 1.6 crore rupees and then the hostel and mess fees for NRI is slightly higher than the general category students once again boys and girls uh, the different hostel uh, the room type is once again double room uh, two people sharing but they have attached bathroom the general category students they don't have attached bathroom nri hostel has attached bathroom admission fees 200 rupees refundable caution deposit 30000 rupees yearly rent 1 lakh 8000 so the first year total fees they have to pay 1 lakh 38200 right the fees is the same for both boys and girls once again the room rent includes the foot charges and this fee structure for a hostel is based on 2021 22 so 1.6 crores to the college and then uh, 1 lakh 8000 every year so five years you can look at right approximately about uh, five and a half lakhs so 1.6 crore plus five and a half lakhs let's say uh, 10 lakhs right 1.7 crores approximately the cost to study in the college under nra category now moving ahead the cutoff marks uh, in 2021-22 for general category now to get a seat in general category you can look at all india rank the cutoff was 1,53,724 all india rank and round two it has dropped to uh, 1,71,000 and in mop up round it has almost gone right from round two it is almost like half right 98,000 and stay vacancy round again down to 1,78,000. So roughly you can see that anyone um, in, the, in the range of maybe like 1,50,000 to 2 lakh all India rank may have a chance in this college. But once again, don't ask me um, whether I will get a seat in this college, whether I will get a seat in this college. Right? To be honest, I, I cannot predict, I cannot tell you what will be the cutoff this year. Right? I'm, I'm not God or I'm not someone who can predict right how can i predict what will be the cutoff this year like you i also have only data based on which i can make decisions so the data is given to you right you look at your all india rank if your all india rank is somewhere in this range you can hope to get a seat there is no guarantee whether the cutoff will be the same as last year it may come down it may go up all these things could happen there are a lot of variables in this so instead of asking me uh, what will be the cutoff whether I will get a seat just look at I am presenting all the data for you to take, take a decision you don't need anyone to tell you right that's, that's my approach right you don't need anyone to tell you the data is in front of you look at the data roughly uh, do a guesswork right any prediction is a guesswork there is no scientific way to predict anything okay so uh, if, if, you, if you are between 1 lakh 50,000 to maybe 2 lakh you can stay hopeful okay we don't know what would be the cutoff this year right okay in terms of need score uh, last year need score round one was 432 round two 416 mop up round it went up to 485 and then stay vacancy round it was about 411 marks uh, but I, I would strongly recommend you to look at the all india rank rather than the need score okay because now you have the all india rank that is a better reflection because the score might vary every year this year you may have a lower rank but you may have a better rank so always compare the rank rather than the need score now in terms of nra category um i, I didn't give any cutoff marks because uh, not all seats had been filled in the counseling for example uh, i showed you that there are 30 seats available under nra category the first round i saw only 19 candidates uh, um, opted for this college okay or 19 candidates only were allotted seats in this college so which means anyone who has a pass mark if they have given option for nri category in this college they would have got a seat 
So there is nothing to worry about NRA category. If you want to go under NRA category, as long as you have passed NEET exam, you are almost guaranteed a seat, right? I don't think anything is going to change this year. That's it. This is what I wanted to share. Uh, once again, the disclaimer, the fee information is as displayed at the college website. I have taken their fee structure, what they have uh, displayed as 2022-23. And also I have collected some details from last year like hostel fees I have used last year. So these all these are given for advanced information for you to do the planning. The exact fee structure once again you need to confirm before joining the college or before even selecting the college in your choices. So please do your homework. I'm, I'm just sharing for advanced planning. This may or may not be the final fee structure. Right. Thank you. Bye bye.